Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we will create a visual, which will compare login user versus others in Power BI. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. With that, let's check it out. Seller 10 is currently logged in. The first visual shows his name, his sales amount, seller name with highest sales, his sales amount, and the total sales. The low column chart is showing date wise total sales and the logged in user sales. So how to create this functionality in Power BI? Let's start creating this from scratch. So I am into a new Power BI file and I have only total sales amount measure. I have products table and sellers table is connected to transactions table with seller ID column. First of all, let me show you how a dynamic road level security works in such cases. So, I will click on modeling and then manage roles. And here I can easily create a dynamic role using user principal name function, which will validate the logged in user email ID with the email ID column of my seller table and will filter the table and same will be passed to my transactions table. Let me show you what is the problem with this approach and why we won't be able to compare the current user versus others in this case. With this security role created, I can create a visual with seller's name and total sales and can test the functionality by clicking on view as and the eye can enter any email ID to see whether it is working fine or not. I have entered email ID for seller 10 and you can see I can only see the data related to seller 10 and there is no way to get other user informations. This is how row level security works. It doesn't create any filter on the front page which can be ignored by using different DAX functions. So how to get this comparison? For example, I am modifying this total sales measure and using all function, which should ignore the filters, but I can still see the total sales only for seller 10. Even in this card visual also it shows sales amount for seller 10. In my first approach, I will add two calculated columns. One is to find the seller's name with highest sales and another is for its highest sales amount. Here is the first calculated column for seller's name with highest sales. In that, I will calculate the sum of sales amount and then I will filter the entire table such that it will have seller ID which is on first rank based on total sales. For that I can use rank X function and as suggested in previous videos, to ignore circular dependency I will use all except function for seller ID. You should check out the video how to ignore circular dependency errors. Links are there in the description below. This expression will return the seller ID of the seller having highest sales, but I need the name of the seller. For that, I can use a lookup value function and get the seller's name from the seller's table for the matching seller code. Here, search value is nothing but this entire expression, which returns the seller's code with highest sales. Now I can drag the column in this visual to see the seller name with highest sales. This way any user can see that who is on rank one. Now to get the sales amount for this seller, I can simply copy this expression and calculate the total sales for this user in another column. Since we are applying road level security, so all the columns will be accessible for all the users. There are other ways to apply securities on column levels, but that is not part of this video. At this moment, you might be thinking, what about the below column chart, which was showing current user versus all the users? But in this setup, there is no way to get that. Current user can only see his sales for various dates. The question is, if one can see all the sales informations then, there is actually no row level security on the dataset. But sometimes you may be asked to show such visuals. So, I have deactivated this relationship. And later, I will use some of the DAX functions to validate the current user inside my DAX measures. Currently, it is showing all the sales amount in front of each seller's name because the relationship has been deactivated. Let's see how it looks if we try to test this visual with some logged in user. So, in view a section, again, I am entering the email ID for seller 10. And I will click on this OK button. The seller's name has been filtered for the current user, but the total sales amount is still showing the overall sales amount. Let's create a separate measure to calculate current user sales amount. For that, I need to keep a condition that user principal name which returns the email ID for logged in user should be equal to the filtered email ID and then activate the relationships by using another function called use relationship. This way we can again calculate the sales for logged in user even with an inactivated relationship. 
we can use the already calculated columns to show the seller name with highest sales and the highest sales amount. Now, since currently we don't have active relationship, we can easily create a column chart visual which shows overall sales by date and can also keep the logged in user sales along with that to compare. You can test it for any other user and this will work for that as well. Another approach is to create a separate disconnected table, which keeps all these informations can also be used. But creating calculated columns are the way where your RLS is also intact. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.